The gang member is one of the most common Hispanic stereotypes used in the media. There is an evolution of sorts when it comes to this portrayal. Originally stemming from early westerns with the character type of El Bandido or Mexican Bandit. When we think of El Bandido, one might jump to this. Vages? We don't need no vages. I don't have to show you any stinking vages. Hollywood has helped create the image of a lowlife south of the border ruffian with low morals. They are portrayed as treacherous, shifty, and dishonest. This is one of the earliest portrayals of Hispanics on screen. They are characterized by their violent tendencies. The western genre usually takes place somewhere along the Mexican border with heavy conflicts. Camila Fojas, in her chapter entitled Mixed Race Frontiers, Border Westerns and the Limits of America, states, on the side of Will are the Anglo, hardy pioneers and the hard-working Texan ranchers, and on the side of Fate are all the racialized and foreign characters who exhibit degenerate traits and lack of control. The former are heroes and nationalists who are to be celebrated, and the latter are outlaws who must be corralled, exiled, or extinguished. As time progressed, the Mexican bandit evolved into the greaser. The character changed, but the characteristics did not. The greaser is still known for their violent and murderous nature. Early on with the portrayal of this stereotype, often depicted theft of goods and cash, kidnapping, the manufacturer and sale of drugs, and physical violence. The greaser eventually morphed into the cartel member that we see in the media today. These stereotypes reinforce the thug lifestyle of Hispanics in film and television, emphasizing that Hispanics are seen as thugs, drug dealers, and gangbangers. According to the 2012 report entitled The Impact of Media Stereotypes on Opinions and Attitudes Towards Latinos, 71% of people reported seeing Latinos as criminals very often or sometimes. The Latin lover can be either male or female, and is most often only regarded for his or her appearance. The Latin lover in men is defined by masculinity, suavity, and sensuality, tenderness, and sexual danger. Latin lovers in women are described as exotic, sexually hot, passionate. Berg calls the Latin lovers simply sexual objects shown on screen. As the name suggests, this image is all about the sexual allure of the characters and little else. Interestingly enough, Berg describes the Latin lover as a positive image of Hispanics seen on the big screen, in comparison to the other negative stereotypes. However, while this image does evoke a positive response from viewers, the focus on physicality degrades Hispanics at the same time. Atkins says these stereotypes reduce the individual's cultural identification to pure physicality reinforcing the false importance assigned to appearance. Although seemingly positive images of sexuality and desire, these roles neglect to acknowledge anything else about these characters, and by extension, these actors. Hispanics are often shown as clowns used as the butt of every joke. These characters are included for comic relief and as targets of ridicule while being characterized by their simple-mindedness. Oh, hello. Who the hell are you? I'm the new foreign exchange student. The football team asked me if I wanted to hang out. I sure don't have said yes. Failure to master standard English. In the forest, cutting down bushes from the trees. <laughs> wait, 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 just a minute. What is this bujus? Bujus, right in there. That's bows. <laughs> Bow? Right. Bow. And childish regression into emotionality. We have the intimacy to share our feelings or whether you take a big step backward in our marriage and go have a beer. <laughs> My vows were to love, honor, and cherish you. I don't have to tell you nothing. <laughs> Hispanic characters providing comic relief are one of the few roles Hispanics take on. According to these scholars, the purpose of these comedic characters is to add a lightheartedness quality on screen. However, Jorge J. Baruto 
claims that ethnic humor and narratives that contain it are a means to express superiority. He states that the goal of including ethnic humor or making fun of a group, in this case Hispanics, is to emphasize racial and cultural dissimilarities and to infantilize Hispanics, thus creating a less threatening, indifferent image to others.